Hello, welcome to this simple tutorial about the shareability primary report system. I'm Roger Simokarele and uh, we are going to get straight. So when you get the system, uh, it is going to come as a zipped folder. A zipped folder like this. You will get it uh, either on your email after buying it. We send it to you on email. And uh, all you'll have to do is to right click on it and extract. Okay? So, there is a password that uh, is given to you. So, uh, the password. Uh, okay, so you put in that password and then it will allow you to uh, extract. Okay, so I've extracted the system. So, when you extract, you'll find a few files. One, you'll find a photos folder. Uh, this folder, you'll, you, that's where you can put some of your photos of your children. If you want to have photos on your report card, you'll find a data entry sheet. You'll find uh, a publisher file for the report system. And a readme file. This readme file is going to have instructions on how to use the system. Including a link to the support software that you may need. If you want Office, you don't have Microsoft Office. You go to that link and you first download Microsoft Office and install it. You should install at least Office 2013. Now, after having Office installed, you will have this. So you right click here and you make a copy. You copy this and make a copy. For example, if I want to do for P7 um, data entry, so I'll say P7. Um, Mark sheet can give it a name. You can get for each class. Um, you make a copy of this and then you make for each class and then you will have it there. Now, after op renaming this, I'm really um, fast on this tutorial, uh, just a quick one so that uh, you get uh, started with uh, using this report system. So, when you open, you are going to find it opening. Here, I'm using Excel 2019. You can use uh, Excel 2013 and above can work well uh, for you in this case. Okay, so when you open it, you'll find the first worksheet that we are going to look at here. We have several worksheets here. The first one is the class teacher's worksheet. The class teacher's worksheet uh, is the one where you should do put uh, details about the learners and um, as a class teacher, you are the one who is the custodian of the class list, so you should be able to be the one to set uh, your learners. For example, if I want to put in a new learner, uh, I'm going to put in a, a new learner, uh, 004, and I'm going to call him uh, Dumba Steven. Okay. Dumba Steven. Uh, his school pay code maybe is SC SC0042. So you can this school pay code is optional for those schools which use school pay or if it's pay code. You can use this field also for any other code or uh, information that you may want to appear on the report card. In addition to the uh, name, the bin number and uh, the first name. Okay, so if you if uh, Stephen has a photo, you can also select and put there his photo. Okay, so you right click here and then you say link. And then you go inside the photos folder where you put Stephen and then you select and then you say okay. You go ahead and you fill in the class. For example, if he's in P7 East and his stream is where is uh, the house is. Um, is green house how many days are in the term if the term has 90 days and he has attended for <coughs> third for maybe 78 the average the absent the number of days absent will be auto computed down here now this part which is blue don't enter anything if you try to enter it, it will tell you don't alter blue columns only enter data in the white columns okay so this one here will be auto computed even these class teachers comments you can first leave them so you can first do this for now okay 
Yeah, so uh, let us dive in. So as a class teacher, the term has begun. Just put in the lean number, the F name, first name, the school pay code if it's there. Select the photo, put a stream, uh, choose the class, the, the house. Yeah, that, one, that one's enough. Even this attendance, you can put it later on. You can first do that, that's enough. Now, you can be able to ask the teachers now to come to the computer to enter their results. Okay, so once you put in a new student, the student's name goes to all the other sheets. So, you'll see Stephen Dumba here has come, P7E. So here you can put the mark, the end of term, end of term mark in mathematics out of 100. So if you put anything more, more than 100, it will complain that the mark is beyond. Yeah, so you have to put in a mark between 0 and uh, 100. Yeah, so I'll put that. Then also the tests, if there was a, any test, either beginning of term or end of term, you can also put in uh, the mark there. Uh, accordingly. So you have that. Okay. And then this side, you can put in the name of the teacher. So if the teacher is uh, Tulia Musa, then it will automatically actually it will duplicate the, the teacher's name across. Do the same thing for English. Okay. So you can do the same thing for English, for SST, for science. You can fill in uh, the same marks there. Uh, coding. Okay, so after filling in the marks here, uh, it will be computing for you. In a case a learner has missed out a given mark, you can put, uh, for example, you can put an X. An X is allowed to sh indicate uh, that that particular mark was missed. Okay, so you can have that. Now, we have other extra subjects here like MDD, Art, PE. If your school is offering other subjects, maybe there is another subject, ICT is not here, or local language like Uganda, you can use these other sheets, extra sheets to have that. Then, you will get a summary sheet automatically, it will show you all the learners in the class, and uh, their, their position, in case there is a learner who missed a, an exam, then you will not grade that learner, that learner will have an X. And you'll have a summary sheet which you can print out uh, in the staff room as you're analyzing results. Feel free to select this and edit it the way you want it. This is Excel, the same Excel that you know. That's why uh, this system is uh, user-friendly because it is already familiar. Now, after entering in the marks, it computes for you even the total. Now, you want to make the report card. So you will go ahead and open this other one which has a bit of primary report edited. So when you open that, it is going to um, open to tell you, do you want to connect external data? You say yes. It brings this uh, where it asks you uh, to connect when it is not connecting to the data source. The first time you open, actually. So you have to say, try to reconnect to the data source. Then you click on continue. Okay. Then you go and select, you go and select the... The, 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 the mark sheet that you have been entering in, you select it, and then you, it, you select the first sheet up here, which has shareability, and then you continue. So in that case, it will be able to open, and uh, it will be able to open uh, your report card so that you can be able to customize it. So uh, here already we have designed uh, something and connected all the fields to the Excel sheet. So from here, you can go ahead and uh, you preview your learners uh, results. So you can see, uh, I can see here, it has brought these learners and uh, it is bringing all of them here. So you can be able to select. So you see, this is Dumba Um the fourth learner. This is the school pay code. These are the marks that we entered. And uh, it is also showing the midterm results. Okay. And uh, it is showing even it has brought down here, it has brought uh, the, the an automated comment about the academics. Now, there are other sections here for co curricular and house conduct that also you could enter them the other side on the class teacher sheet, and results would come here. The comments would come here. There are fields for that. Yeah, so 
you will see them there so you you will see everything in here so as a school you need your own design of the report card so what you do you change feel free to change all this you can change this logo uh, and uh, design it so you can say change picture and then you go and select the logo so if uh, my school here is um uh, is on school i'll go and select the picture for is on school okay, so here is my logo i have inserted it here so uh you can be able to adjust here at the top uh for example this is um i will say is on school so if that is my logo, I will be able to say is on school or is on primary school. Okay. Uh, bingo. So I edit I edit fully the heading. Okay. Then uh, from there, I can be able to put in my PO box, uh, telephone number, everything as needed. You can also change the colors. Of busy bars or you can make your own design up here uh, the way you want it so you should feel free to change each and everything uh, in the background there is um view menu you go to slide master master page you can change this and then you change that background image okay so you can still change the background image and select it from file and you put in your um, your your logo and then from there this logo here you should be able to uh, you should be able to reduce the transparency uh, the transparency here you can reduce it to like 80 percent so that it doesn't very it doesn't obstruct the work yeah, so that it remains in the background of the report. Okay, so basically we are almost through the report card. So you can you can be creative and change fonts, change colors, backgrounds, whatever you need, and uh, you will have your report card. So after you have done all that, you can just go to uh, mailings here and say finish merge and and say merge to new publication and then it will create for you a mail merge of all the learners in the class uh, their report cards will be there yeah so uh should the master before mail merging you should uh, feel free to change the names of the head teacher the class teachers and uh, details like when the date the new term will open and the school requirements so before printing, so it is advised to save your work as a PDF so that uh, you can be able to so that you can be able to print it when it is well scaled to the paper. Otherwise, when you print using a publisher, sometimes the printer settings may be an issue. So I can say reports reports P7. Okay, and then I save. So this one here is going to publish my report card using um, into a PDF, and uh, I can you can also opt to keep a copy of this PDF uh, if you want to back up. You can back it up online. Maybe you can have the Google Drive where you keep uh, all the report cards. So you can see this is um, the first learner. Um, there is a grading scale. Uh, there is um, everything is there. These uh, options are all here. Even the, the report cards are in here, which you can watch, which you can use in your make your report cards. Yeah. So one of the things that you should note is uh, the report system has mainly two components. We have the data entry sheet, which you start with, and uh, then we have the which this one is in Excel. And then we have the other one, which is the, um, the publisher file, which is the, uh, the one which you use to generate the report cards. So you should be able to use any, you should be able to use both of the, of the tools. Okay? And uh, the other thing that you should also note is when you are opening one, first close the other so that 
uh, there's no conflict of opening it as a read only. Yeah, and um, uh, in this data entry sheet, we have this is the section where you need to put, if you want to put co curricular activities and course comments, you can fill them here. And also, the grading system is also uh, down here. You can customize the grading system and also customize the comments, which will come. Uh, beside the automated comments for the class teacher which are going to come basing on the performance which will be there so basically that is the report system uh, if you are interested in it uh, just call uh, us and then we shall be able to uh, we shall be able to send it to you on email it is very simple you don't even need to come to your school to do this because it is um Excel and Publisher, which you already have, Microsoft Office software. So what we give you is just this uh, sheet, which already has a grading, and then you use it to generate report cards easily at your school uh, as needed. Thank you very much.